And next we'll bring out Bill Rudy, who is Director of Product Planning for TV Software and Services for Hillcrest Labs. Hillcrest Labs is the people that make the uh, mess, <laughs> darn it, the magic remote type I'm things sorry. for LG, Good to see you, buddy. Angry Birds on the Roku, yeah. et cetera. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, well, uh, let me start off our RDK experience with a, a little documentary film we made in our office. Um, a little documentary a little film documentary we made in our office. office. Secret, awesome. secret documentary crew. Can okay. you roll the video? This is a first. This is an RDK first. This is indeed. <laughs> RDK, the movie. It's still a move by Q4, uh, but there's a lot of uncertainty. So I budgeted two weeks for just a video path integration. But we've seen before when we go to different platforms that could go as far as eight weeks. That uh, There's that one that took us um, almost three months. So we need to be careful about that. Um, we have uh, the hardware test because a lot of this is new hardware that they're spinning out. and. It's different for every manufacturer, so they might have to do another spin of that. Um, so you see that that could be a problem. Uh, let's see. We've got the we've got two rounds of QA. I'd really like to budget for a third round, but I don't think that we're going to be able to get three rounds in. Uh, I think that that could be an issue. Basically, there's just a lot of different pieces that we have to get working together, and we don't know until we do it whether it's all going to work. Uh, Excuse me. Is that okay? All So the point was that it made it a lot faster and the guy... <laughs> and oddly enough, it wasn't that far from the truth of exactly what happened. Um, basically, uh, what Dave was saying in the video is, is accurate. When we're dealing with a uh, new platform, we have to look at the chipset, we have to possibly set up a new development environment, new, um, new code system you know, to, to do it, and then there's the porting itself, and of course the testing because everything is brand new. We literally plugged in the USB stick from our device and it worked. And we actually have it working. If we could go to the demo. Um, Daniel is showing it here. We plugged it in, and this is, by the way, this is the SBL browser as well, so you know, we, we're actually joining two things together here working together. in making this work. We've had this for two weeks, just so people understand. This is not something that you know, we did four months ago. This is actually two weeks ago was the first time we received this red box that we're using from Broadcom. So um, you see he's using it for browsing the internet using our uh, scoop pointer. And then um, the other thing we did was uh, take it, you know, we took the SBL uh, movie thing that, that, that they were showing, the, the, the movie scene, and we actually used the motion mm -hmm. of the device to navigate it. Now, this is, this is, you know, taking that to yet another level of what you could do with it. Um, he's going to well, demonstrate that Well, just being that able now. to use your remote as a floating pointer mm -hmm. is kind of hugely the, advantageous. the big deal yes. of Hillcrest for it. Exactly. Yeah. So, and the, uh, the idea that this can now be available to anyone who is building on the RDK platform is, is a huge advantage to us and hopefully one to them as well. So what is it about the RDK platform that makes this work so well and so easily for you? Well, I wish I could go into the technical reasons, but the simple one is that um, it eliminates a lot of the variables we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what it sets out to do and it achieves it very successfully, which is that from our perspective, every variable is another issue that has to be either confronted and dealt with as well as tested after the fact because you never know where there's going to be problems. But, but being able to use a standard USB driver mm -hmm. and a standard USB device, because the RDK is built on top of Linux and, and supports those drivers, I would imagine was a big part of a big, of what a big made reason that why it was, was quick, yes, definitely. Awesome. Any other questions for Hillcrest? No, it's, I mean, you know, I, can I, I get that pointy remote thing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, I think it, well, as, the, as the UIs get more and more sophisticated, you know, being able to bring this type of technology quickly in is, is awesome and getting across all these boxes. So. 
Hats off to you. Two weeks? Thank, yeah, That's two weeks. Amazing. We received it two weeks ago. So That's amazing. I said we want to make a point of thanking SBL for their help in, in giving us an application platform that we could take advantage of as well. All right. Well, thank Great. you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Stuff. Thanks for coming. Thanks a lot.